Welcome back to Math Easy everyone. In today's lesson, we will discuss how to find the intercepts from the graph. And then we will draw the graph from an equation using the values of the intercepts. So what is an intercept? When you draw a graph, a linear graph or any other type of graph, and you allow it to extend further, usually the graph crosses the x and y axis. So let's take an example. Uh, let's take this graph. You can see that this graph is crossing your x-axis at some place and then your y-axis at some place. Wherever your graph crosses the x-axis and the y-axis that are known as x and y-intercepts respectively. So this would be right here. This is your x-intercept. This is your x-intercept. And then where it is crossing the y-axis, that would be your y-intercept. So this is how you read the x and y-intercept from the graph. The intercepts are written in the coordinate form. So at the x-intercept, the value of y is 0. You will write down your x-value where the graph is crossing the x-axis. And then you will write 0 for the y-value. Similarly, for the y-intercept, the value of x would be 0 and you will write down the value of y where the graph is crossing the y-axis. So let's review this a little bit uh, before we go ahead and read the graphs. So what is your x-intercept? Your x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis and mathematically x-intercept is where your y is 0. And then your y-intercept is where your x is 0. Remember that sometimes you will also see the intercept numbers just stated instead of the coordinates just written as a number. Which is not incorrect way of writing that but try to always write your intercept in the coordinate form. So let's look at the graph following graphs. We have to identify the x and y-intercept. Example 1 example 5 part 1 so i will find the x intercept first let's see where the graph is crossing the x axis it is crossing the x axis at negative 3 so my x intercept would be negative 3 comma 0 because y is 0 at x intercept and my y intercept would be 0 comma 2 because the value of x is always 0 on the y intercept Let's take a look at this another example. Identify the x and y intercept. So you can see this graph is not a linear graph. This is a different type of graph. You will learn that later on in algebra. It's a parabolic graph. You can see that this is crossing the x-axis twice. So we have two x-intercepts. So my x-intercepts in this case are two. What are my two x-intercepts? The first time it is crossing the x-axis is that negative 4 comma 0 right here and the second time it is crossing the x-axis is at negative 1 comma 0. Now let's take a look at the y-intercept. It is only crossing the y-axis once so my y-intercept is 0 comma 1. All right, let's go ahead and do a few more examples. Here I have a bunch of questions. Identify the x and y intercept. So let's take a look at the first example on this page. This graph is crossing the x-axis at negative 4. So my x-intercept is negative 4, 0. And my y-intercept is 0, negative 6. So we can go ahead and write this down. This is our x-intercept and y-intercept. All right. Let's take a look at another example. I have negative 1. The graph is crossing here at negative 1. So my x-intercept is negative 1, 0. And you can see that my y-intercept is 0, positive 1. 
I can see that this graph is crossing the x-axis at one more point, but it's not very clear. I'll just go ahead and assume that this is negative 0 0.5, 0. Example number 3. Here my x-intercept is 0, 0. And you can also see that your y-intercept is also 0 comma 0 so remember when the graph passes through the origin you don't have to write your intercepts twice you can also only write them once which would be enough example 4 this is a horizontal line parallel to the x-axis you can see that this graph is only intersecting the y-axis once so your y-intercept is 0 comma 3 now you can see that this graph is not crossing or intersecting the x-axis at all. So there is no x-intercept. Now why is this important to write? If you say that the x-intercept is 0, then you are implying at a situation like this. But this is not the situation we are dealing with. We do not have an x-intercept at all in this case. It is not 0. Those are two different things. So please make sure that you write no x-intercept instead of saying that the intercept is 0. Alright, let's take a look at this graph. Here I have two x-intercepts, negative 1, 0 and 5, 0. And then for my y-intercept, I have 0, 2 and 0, negative all right for our next uh, next part of this lesson we will learn how to graph linear equations using the intercepts from the equation so if the equation is given to me let's say x minus y equals to 3 i will learn how to graph this equation by finding the x and y intercepts that's what we will do for the next part all right, so we have to graph these linear equations by finding and plotting its intercept. So there are many different ways to graph linear equations, but in this uh, particular lesson, we will graph them by finding the intercepts. As discussed earlier in the video, what are the intercepts? So what is x-intercept? x-intercept is when the value of y is equals to zero. And Similarly, y-intercept is when the value of x is equals to 0. And how do we show that in the graph? Wherever the graph intersects the x and the y-axis that are their respective intercepts. So let's put y equals to 0 in this given equation to find the value of x-intercept. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute y equals to 0, which gives me x equals to 3. So my x-intercept is 3 comma 0. And now let's do the same thing but this time to find the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I'm going to have to put x equals to 0. So let's put x equals to 0. If I put x equals to 0, let me write it. We are finding y-intercept. So I'm going to put x equals to 0. If I put x equals to 0, it gives me 0 minus y equals to 3 or negative y equals to 3. Remember, when you are finding value of a variable, the variable should not be left negative. So you have to find the value of y, not negative y. How can I get rid of this negative sign? There are two different ways. Either you can go ahead, multiply by negative 1 on both sides or you can divide by negative 1 on both sides. This will give me y equals to negative 3. So my y-intercept would be 0 comma negative 3. So let's uh, write this uh, information. Let's write this down neatly. I have x-intercept as 3 comma 0. And our y-intercept is 0, negative 
3 now what we can do is we can go ahead and draw this on our graph by just first finding the dots finding the intercept values on the graph and connecting those dots so let me just extend this line it's not perfect but it will make do x intercept is 3 comma 0 1 2 3 so 3 comma 0 let's mark some more numbers and y intercept is 0 comma negative 3 so 0 comma negative 3 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 0 comma negative 3 this one and from here on you can just go ahead and connect those two dots extend your line and this is the graph for the equation x minus y equals to 3 the question number 13th here all right let's do a few more questions i'm going to erase this let's do a few more questions all right let's graph few more equations here i'm going to graph question number 19 so question number 19 is 2x minus 4y equals to 8 i can already see that this equation is written in the standard form why are we considering a standard form because when we have to graph by using the intercepts it is important that we have it in the standard form remember there are many ways to graph linear equation we are just learning the uh, graphing the equation by using the intercepts today so let's find the x intercept to find the x intercept you will go ahead and put y equals to 0 in this equation 2x minus 4 times 0 equals to 8 2x equals to 8 go ahead divide by 2 x equals to 4 so your x intercept is 4 comma 0 now i'll go ahead and find the y intercept to find the y intercept i will put x equals to 0 in this equation so 2x minus 4y equals to 8 2 times 0 minus 4y equals to 8 0 minus 4y equals to 8 go ahead and divide by negative 4 on both sides y equals to negative 2 or my y intercept is 0 comma negative 2 so my intercepts are let me highlight them for you my intercepts are 4 and 0 0 and negative 2 so let's go ahead and graph it we'll go ahead and draw the y-axis the x-axis and now we will mark our x and y intercept so my x intercept is 4 comma 0 which means that my graph is going to cross the x-axis at 4 comma 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 so right here and then my y intercept is 0 comma negative 2 so 0 comma negative 2 is right here negative 1 negative 2 so we will go ahead and we will just connect our connect the dots just connect the intercepts so we'll just go ahead and connect our intercepts so we'll have 4 comma 0 0 comma negative 2 so remember the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals to c so you need to bring x and y both on the same side so i'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x on both sides of this equation which will give me y minus 3x y minus 3x equals to 6 or minus 3x plus y equals to 6 now let's find the x intercept the x intercept is when y equals to 0 so i'll go ahead and put y equals to 0 which will give me negative 3x equals to 6 divide by negative 3 
x equals to negative 2. So my x-intercept is negative 2 comma 0. And now I'll find my y-intercept. So for my y-intercept, I need to put x equals to 0. So let's write the equation. Let's find the y-intercept uh, when x is equals to 0. So let's rewrite the equation first negative 3x plus y equals to 6 now substitute x equals to 0 which will give you y equals to 6 so your y intercept is 6 comma 0 now let's go ahead and plot our intercept so my x intercept is negative 2 comma 0 and my y intercept is 6 comma 0 so i'll go ahead and plot my intercepts so x intercept negative 2 comma 0 right here and my y intercept is positive 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 let's go ahead and connect the dots not perfect so this is negative 2 comma 0 and this is 6 comma zero so that's our graph for the equation y equals to 3x plus 6 i hope this video was helpful in our upcoming videos we will learn how to graph the equations using the slope intercept form which is a preferred way of graphing linear equations because of its uh, mm -hmm. how convenient it is and how easy it is i hope this video was helpful Keep watching Math Easy for more math related videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. I'll see you later. Bye for now.